Alright, so we have solved our x puzzle for this polynomial. We have found that 6 and negative 3 are our answers, and we put them here, lining up our with our 2 and negative 9 so that they share a common factor. This is going to help because now I'm going to rewrite I'm going to write out my polynomial as a sum. And I'm putting my 2n squared here. And I am adding 6n because the 6 lined up with the 2. I should write this down. Yes, you should write this down. <laughs> and I'm putting my negative 9 on the end just like it was from up above. And I'm putting negative 3n here. So now they are grouped. They're lined up, so I have, I know that I have a common factor. My greatest common factor between 2n squared and 6n is 2n. They both have an n term, so I'm going to factor out 2n and I am left with n plus 3. Oh my god. Nice. Yeah. Um, my greatest common factor between negative 3n and negative 9 is negative 3. So I'm going to factor out negative 3. And I am left with n plus 3. So notice what's left in the parentheses, n plus 3, it's the same for both of them. So you can just put so you literally n just plus that makes sense. negative 3 and n plus 3. So now I can rewrite it as a product because these two terms share a common factor, n plus 3. So I can rewrite it as 2n minus 3, which is the sum of my greatest common factors. Wow. multiplied by m plus 3, which is the factor left over. Wow. <laughs>